Hey guys, you want to see this really cool DIY combo animation? Alright, let's play. <laughs> Whoa! Can you see what combo's doing? It really looks like he's walking. Want to learn how to make your own and use any character you want? Roll the clip. You wanted me here in the lab. That, that's what you said, right? Yeah. We need to build an animation machine. Whoa, so it's like a flip book, but a machine? <laughs> I will go find a way to create the animation, and you focus on building a structure that can hold it. Oh, okay. Bye. Okay, so the structure. Let's see. We need to get started on the structure. Oh, I have the perfect thing we can use. We're going to use... Cardboard. Our first step is to measure and cut out our basic structure, which includes two walls, our reels, and some pieces to build our handle with. Now we're going to cut out those reels and the handle pieces. Next, we're going to cut out cardboard pieces for our top, our bottom, and our back. Now we've got all of our cardboard pieces. Next, on to the reels. Now we need to poke holes for each animation frame. It's very important that they're all evenly spaced. On to reel number two, and done. So we cut a hole in our circle. Now we're gonna use this to attach our rod to the wall. We're also going to have to cut the same size circle out of our other wall. So let's get to work. Now we're gonna glue our walls to our base. We're going to use our cardboard pieces and we're going to use some tubes. Now to start our handle construction, we are going to hot glue our cardboard cutout pieces. Now when using things like hot glue, be sure to ask an adult for help. Now we're going to glue our handle piece onto the cardboard. We need a good seal, so we need lots of hot glue all the way around and glue it nice and tight in place like that. All right, now we're gonna glue our handle onto our center tube. We need lots of hot glue for this one too to make sure everything is nice and tight. Once it's dry, it should spin like this. Whoa, it's working so good. And we already have our reels made, so all that we need is the animation. Wait, what? Who put that there? Yay, teamwork. Heck, <laughs> yeah. I created frames that we need for the animation. Wow, this looks so good. I also learned more about the history of flipbook animations. <laughs> what do we do next, Bree? Well, next we're gonna glue in our reels. We're gonna start by sliding both of our reels on the tube and lining our tube back up with our cardboard spacer. Now that it's lined up, we're gonna use plenty of glue to make sure that the reel stays in place and doesn't slide around when we're using our flipbook machine. And all that's left is to glue in our second reel. Our reels are nice and glued in, so now it's time to add our animation frames. Combo bonga! That's, that's what he sounds like, right? Anyways, adding our animation frames, adding our animation frames. Whoa! <gasps> Whoa! It's gonna take a lot more frames than that, so we need to add more. Combo bonga! Number three! <sighs> We just finished adding all of our animation frames and we added this little stopper up here to stop the frames in the perfect place so that when we spin it, we can see the picture move. Look at him go. <laughs> Hooray, the animation machine is a success. 
We did it! Uh, not so fast, Peck. <gasps> well, because you said you wanted it to look like a TV, so I'm gonna make it look like a TV. And done! <laughs> Whoa, that looks great! Thanks! Do we get to test it out first? Absolutely! Okay. <gasps> look at Tumble go! <laughs> yeah! Thank you for watching the video. Remember, we'll stay happy and rise up. Bye. Bye. Why you try, Ryan? Okay. Whoa! Too fast. Whoa! Come on,